Today I'm gonna tell you guys how to add sound fonts in MuseScore. So you first have to go to MuseScore.org. Do not go to MuseScore.com because when you go to MuseScore.com, it doesn't show like like uh the the menu that's over here. That's I think that's how the website builders call it the menu. Like they don't show the menu of MuseScore. In musecore.com, you, you, you see like the musecore.com right here. But when you go to musecore.org slash en, I'm not really sure if you need en, but if you do musecore.org, it gives you to this place where you can just now cancel out this tab. You can go to download, and then there's this thing called sound fonts. You click on it, and it'll go to this place where you can download some sound fonts that you might want to download like for example if you think that like if you think your like the default sound font in musecore isn't that good then you can choose like it's depending on what kind of uh what kind of person you are when you're composing if you're composing orchestra stuff then you can here you see there there's there's like these orchestra sound fonts there's the sonatina symphonic orchestra which i don't really recommend it because it's a really big file but then if your computer has a lot of storage and you're okay with it then it would be a pretty good uh sound font yeah there is also piano sound fonts there's s F Z. I'm pretty sure that's a format, but not that sure. And then there's how, these. This is how to do it. So I'm just gonna download this one just to show you. Since 29, it's it's 27 MB at my place. Okay. Uh, and you can just do show. And then it will get you to a place that's right that's right over here. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna wait until this thing is done, and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, guys, now it's almost done, as you see. Yep, now it's uh. Basically, now it's done. It took a long time, I think three minutes to download a sound font. The Wi Fi is really slow today. Oh, and I wish you guys all a happy Chinese New Year. Uh, yeah. So basically, now you can do show and finder. You click that, and then you see there's this general user. You can Drag this to your desktop and double click on the zip, which will open a folder. You can open this folder and then it will get you to a place where it's like this mp3. Like it looks like a mp3, but it's actually not. It's .sf2. That format is a sound font, which you can just click this one and then you it, and then it will tell you, do you want to install the sound font generator? Just general user GS MuseScore blah 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 and then you, you'll say yes which it will basically say sound font installed now you go to view and then you press synthesizer and then you'll see that there's MuseScore general you can click uh add and there's this one which is the one I that I just downloaded you, you can click load and then it'll be right here for you. you you can click save to score or set as default or set as default and then you can cancel out and then yeah you're, you're free to use sound fonts now now I can go back to you, you can cancel this thing out or well, you can actually delete this thing if you want but I keep it just in case. Like, I keep this folder. I don't keep the zip. So, yeah, and I can just cancel this one out. And you can come back to this page and then 
you can download any more sound fonts if your Wi-Fi is good enough in a certain amount of time. You can download as many sound fonts as you want. Yeah, okay, that will that will wrap up for t today's tutorial. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in next see you in my next tutorial or video.